Hello, grade 10 students. This is Teacher V once again. Interpreting measures of position is our topic for today. And this is for grade 10 learners, quarter 4, week 3. Ang igagayad ko sa inyo ngayon ay ang learning task number 1 to 2. At ang reference na ginamit ni Teacher V dito is yung learner's packet from Region 4A, Calabar Zone. Kaya bago tayo mag-start, i-share mo na to sa mga kaklase mo, sa mga kaibigan mo. I-like mo na rin at mag-iwan ng comment sa paba nitong video para inspired na guys si Teacher V dahil sa inyo. Alright, so let's begin. We have the first learning task and according to this problem, Mrs. Canarias, the health coordinator of Wawa National High School, recorded the height of 50 students in grade 10 class for computing the BMI. And based on her report, Ira's height is in the 60th percentile. So assume that the height of each student is different to each other. The question, how many students are shorter than Ira? So 60th percentile. So when we say 60th percentile, it means... Less than or equal to 60% of our distribution. Kaya ang answer natin, 60% of the students are shorter than or equal to Ira's height. Para malaman natin kung ilang students yun, edi i-times natin yung 60% sa 50 students dahil 50 yung ating given na students. So 0.60 times 50, the answer is 30. Therefore, 30 students are shorter than or equal to Ira's height. Another question, how many students are taller than Ira? So kung 60th percentile yung shorter than sa kanya, edi yung natitirang 40% sa 100, kasi di ba 100 yung percent yung ating distribution. So yung natitirang 40% yun naman yung mga students na matangkad kay Ira. So we can say that 40% of the students are taller than Ira's height. Kunin natin kung ilang students kaya yun. Di times natin yung 40% sa 50 dahil sa 50 students natin. And the answer is 20. Therefore, 20 students are taller than 2 Ira's height. So, 20 bata yung mas matangkad kay Ira. Next, if Jenny's height is in the third quartile, how can you compare it with Ira's height? Third quartile is equivalent to the 75% of our distribution. So si Jenny, ang height niya is less than or equal to the 75% of our distribution. So ito yung height ni Jenny. While yung kay Ira, di ba 60% less than or equal to? So palagay nyo, sinong mas matangkad sa kanila, i-compare natin yung kanilang mga height. So makikita nyo, mas malaki yung kay Jenny, right? So therefore... Jenny is taller than Ira's height. Next, if Lisa's height is in the fourth decile, how can you compare it with Ira's height? So, ang height naman ni Lisa, fourth decile. So, yung fourth decile is equivalent to 40%, less than or equal to 40% of our distribution. So, para natin i-compare yan sa height ni Ira? So, ito yung kay Lisa, and ito yung kay Ira, nasa 60th percentile. So, Less than or equal to the 60% of the distribution. Yung kay Ira na height. So, mas malaki or mas matangkad si Ira. So, we can say that Lisa is shorter than Ira's height. So, madali lang kasi ang lesson natin for this week is more on interpretation lang. Wala tayong ganong computation. Okay. Now, punta na tayo sa learning task number 2. Mr. Ignacio is applying as a staff worker of a shoe factory in Marikina. During the interview, he asked the manager about the salary he would get once he is hired. The manager told him that it is in the fourth decile. So what does the manager's answer to Mr. Ignacio mean? So fourth decile, so meaning to say fourth decile, 40%. So 40% of the staff worker has a lower or equal salary to Mr. Ignacio. And if Mr. Ignacio's friend is also staff worker in that shoe factory, and receives a salary which is in the second quartile, which of them has a higher salary? So, explain. So, kay Mr. Ignacio, nasa fourth decile, itong kay, sa kaibigan niya, second quartile. Ang second quartile is equivalent to 50% of the distribution. Okay? So, palagay nyo, mas malaki ba yung sweldo ni Mr. Ignacio o itong kaibigan niya? Okay. So, ito yung sa kaibigan ni Mr. Ignacio, 50%. Uh, less than or equal to the 50% yung kanyang salary while doon kay Mr. Ignacio, 
nasa 40% lang. So, sino? Mas malaki ang sahod sa kanilang dalawa. So, mas malaki talaga yung sahod ng kaibigan niya. You can say that Mr. Ignacio's friend has a higher salary compared to Mr. Ignacio. Maybe because bago pa lang si Mr. Ignacio, kaya medyo mas mababa yung kanya compare doon sa kaibigan niya. Right? Okay, next. If the manager told Mr. Ignacio that starting next month, he will receive a salary which is in the third quartile, should he be glad with that? Explain. Third quarter is less than or equal to 75% of our distribution. So, matutuwa ba si Mr. Ignacio kung pumunta sa 75%? Yung kanyang sahod? Okay, of course. So, third quarter is less than or equal to 75%. So, his salary from less than or equal to 40% will increase. So, matutuwa siya kasi from 40% naging nandun na siya sa level ng 75%. So, matutuwa si Mr. Ignacio kung tataas yung kanyang sahod at mapupunta sa third quartile. Okay? Now, learning task number three. So, the first quartile of the ages of the 120 employees of RC Cola Factory is 35 years old. So, what does it imply? First quartile is less than or equal to 25% of our distribution. So, 25% of the employees of RC Cola Factory are younger than or equal to 35 years old. Kasi nga, nasa first quartile daw yung ages ng 120 employees ng RC Cola Factory. Number two, Mrs. Lim's advisory class has 40 students. She made a report on the weight of each student as part of the feeding program of the school. John, one of the students, has a weight which is in the seventh decile. How many students have weight greater than him? So, yung weight ni John ay nasa 7th decile. So, we need to say 70%. Right? So, less than or equal to 70%. So, yung natitirang 30%, yun yung students na mas mabigat sa kanya. So, the answer here is 30% of the students have a weight greater than the weight of John. Okay. So, kailangan lang talaga i-analyze natin yung problem. 30% ng 40 students, so i-multiply lang natin yung 30% sa 40, yung 40 students natin. The answer is 12. So, meaning to say, 12 students have weight greater than John. So, 12 yung students na mas mabigat sa weight ni John. Okay. Then, number 3. Mina's score is the 30th percentile in the second summative test in mathematics. If the passing score is 5th decile, did she pass the test? Explain. And we all know that the values of the 38th percentile and the 5th decile are not equal. Okay? So, hindi sila equal. Kaya sa palagay nyo, papasa kaya si Mina sa kanyang summative test in mathematics? Ang score ni Mina is on the 30th percentile. Less than or equal to 30%. While your passing score is on the 5th decile, so meaning to say, less than or equal to the 50%. So, sa palagay nyo, kung masasya or hindi. Okay, ito yung score ni Mina. 30% lang. Doon lang siya sa 30%. Eh, ang passing score is dapat nasa 50% ka. So, therefore, dahil mas maliit, yung nakuha ni Mina doon sa passing score na 50% or sa 5th decile, so, since the 30th percentile is less than the 5th decile, which is 50%, or the passing score, Mina failed to pass the test. Okay? So, hindi siya pumasa. Kasi dapat mas malaki yung kanyang score. Okay? At least, siguro, dapat nasa 60th percentile siya para pumasa siya doon sa kanilang summative test in mathematics. Okay, and that's it. Natapos na natin yung mga learning tasks ninyo sa inyong Week 3, Grade 10 Mathematics. And I hope na yung video ni Teacher V ay nakatulong sa inyo para mas mapadali ang pagsagot ninyo. At the same time, mas ma-enjoy nyo yung pag-aaral nyo ng mathematics. Okay? Again, huwag basta kopya ng kopya. Intindihin din yung mga problem. Kaya mo yan kasi magaling ka. See you again sa susunod. Don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page, VTeach Channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye!